What's going on everyone? Alex Prime here and today we're talking about Microsoft and their brand new Xbox is Project Scarlet. There's apparently two. This comes to us from the article at Therot, that's the website, and the, uh, the uh, author is Brad Sams. So we're going to go through a lot of stuff here, so bear with me as I read through this, okay? Back at E3, Microsoft mentioned that they were working on a next generation console. At that time, I noted that this new console of families, this new console is a family of devices and was going by the name of Scarlet. Since uncovering that little bit of info, I was able to dig up a few tiny bits of content about how Microsoft is developing its next generation consoles. And yes, consoles, because now they are planning two different pieces of hardware. First, Microsoft is building a traditional console that would, you would expect from the Xbox brand. I think that is important to point this out for those who prefer to have all their hardware locally. You will have an option with the next generation Xbox. As for specs for this device, that is still not known at this time, as it is in the early days of development for the piece of hardware. But from what I'm stating, starting to hear more about this second device, a streaming box that is designed to work with the company's upcoming streaming platform. Scarlet Cloud, as one person called it, is a game streaming service that we have all been envisioning ever since Microsoft showed off a demo streaming at an all-employee meeting back in 2013. But this time, Microsoft has a path to bring it to market. The second console that the company is working on is a lower-powered device that is currently planned to ship with the next-generation device that is designed for game streaming. But the catch here is that Microsoft thinks it has figured out how to handle the latency sensitive aspects of gaming. The cloud console will have a limited amount of compute locally for specific tasks like controller input, image processing, and importantly, collision detection. The downside of this is that since more hardware is needed locally, it will raise the price of the streaming box, but it will cost significantly less than what we are accustomed to paying for a new generation console, which should help expand the platform's reach. Okay, so, pretty interesting stuff. There's a lot more, but I kind of just want to stop here for a minute. So, we have two things so far. We know there's a new traditional Xbox One, which will be the replacement for the Xbox One X, which will most likely be your, your standard four to $500 console. It'll be more powerful than the standard Xbox One X, which will start off the new generation, which we'll just call for now the Scarlet Generation. Now there's also going to be a streaming box, which will be considerably cheaper as they're saying here. I would imagine the streaming box will be somewhere between 100 to $200 Nvidia Shield is on the higher end of streaming boxes. That one's about 200 bucks. So anywhere between 100 and 200 is what I predict it to be. We'll see. Now, the biggest problem with streaming games currently is latency, which is basically when you press a button, you have to wait for the uh, when you press a button on the controller, you have to wait for your character to actually do something. There's a there's a disconnect right now because of current technology, but apparently Microsoft has sorted out this issue by having the actual streaming box itself have hardware dedicated to handling this. So it'll have the processor inside that's dedicated to handling the input buttons and uh, collision, which is like when you walk around and things interact with you. So having that handled locally should solve the latency issue and the rest of the game is rendered and streamed through the cloud. That is very interesting, because if they can sort out the latency problem, then streaming games could be a very viable thing. And if they can get this to market for about $100, $150, and you can play all the same games as that 
new Xbox One X2, let's call it that for a minute, you can play all the same games and you can get an entry price of under $200. That is incredible value, especially when you add on uh, Xbox Game Pass and have access to over 100 games for $10 a month. This streaming box definitely could be a game changer for Microsoft as far as reaching a wider audience because there's a lot of casual gamers or people that just already have a Nintendo Switch or they have a PlayStation 4 so they don't see much reason to get an Xbox or I guess next generation will be PlayStation 5 and a Nintendo Switch. They already have that. Maybe they don't want to spend another four or five hundred dollars on the new Xbox One X2. But $150, $100, maybe $200 to get a streaming box and you could play all the same games as the more expensive console. I think a lot of people would be interested in that. And especially reaching casual gamers who generally play cell phone games, tablet games. They're used to streaming stuff like that. They're used to uh, having services like this. So to reach them, this would be a perfect device. And we know Microsoft wants to reach 2 billion gamers. That's their goal. That's what they want to do. You can't do that with a traditional console. It's not possible. So they have to try stuff like this. I think, personally, the streaming box is fantastic. This would be great as a companion device if you're someone who has a PlayStation or a, or a, or a Switch, or if you even have a PC, you could have the streaming box in a separate room. And with Xbox Play Anywhere, when you play on your PC, then you could just go to your other room and the game would continue your saves, which would be really cool. So that's pretty exciting. Now, as far as the standard Xbox One, X2, whatever we're going to call it, that's the traditional console. So if you just like your normal console, you want everything handled locally, Microsoft's still giving you the option. That is awesome. People were pretty scared, thinking that they were only going to get a streaming box for next generation. Microsoft has, uh, well, that. You don't have to worry about that. You have access to a standard Xbox One, or whatever they're going to call it. And of course, you can play all their games on PC. And they're going to be streaming the games to tablets and cell phones soon as well. Or you can get the streaming box. It's a lot of exciting news for Microsoft for next generation. They are definitely doubling, tripling down to win next generation. Or at least compete next generation. We know they just purchased four new studios and created a brand new studio. And they're going to have more exclusives on the way. They have Game Pass. They have Play Anywhere. They are a big, big advocate for crossplay, especially with Nintendo and PC. They are hitting all the right marks, and now they're trying to get to an entry-level price point for gaming with the streaming box, and then they have a traditional box, and then they have PC for the highest-end gaming, and you can even stream to your phone. They are trying to offer you games in every single way possible that fits within their ecosystem, and really that is truly amazing and something that only Microsoft could pull off. Let's be real here. They're the only company that has the reach to do this. Now they just need to get their first party software in order and get the same quality of exclusives that Nintendo and Sony bring to the table. That of course will take a lot of time, but they are definitely setting themselves up to be successful next generation. And that's exciting to see because this generation for Xbox was a wash. They did not do well. They didn't offer much content that was like memorable, really. They didn't do a great job. Uh, it's, it's clear they gave up pretty quickly this generation and they were preparing for next. It is what it is. Nintendo did the same thing with the Wii U and now look at the Switch, massive success. So hopefully Microsoft can be successful next generation, get a lot of good games out get a lot of these streaming boxes in people's homes, get Xbox Ones into people's homes and PCs into people's homes, everything connecting together, playing together, that would be fantastic. But guys, let me know what you think about this. The streaming box for Xbox, where they've supposedly sorted out the latency by having the actual device handle, button input, and uh, collision. So that sounds like a good idea. That sounds like it could solve the biggest issue of, of streaming games, which is, of course, the latency. And, of course, you'll still have to have the, the recommended internet speed to handle this. And if you don't, just get the traditional console. But if you're someone who is more of a casual person, 
or you already have multiple consoles and this would be like a, a, a companion device, I think the streaming box is actually the more compelling device out of this and the, the standard Xbox. That's me personally, but that's because I play on PC, so the actual Xbox console to me is meaningless. But the streaming box is interesting, because that could be in a separate room and just stream the games, that could be very cool, and you'll still be able to sync your saves because of Xbox Play Anywhere, so that is very interesting to me. But let me know guys, what do you think about this Xbox, two Xboxes, Project Scarlet, oh also, uh, the, the Project Scarlet streaming box, they said every game that plays on the regular Xbox, Project Scarlet Xbox, the standard one, all those games have to work on the streaming box as well. Because they're not going to allow games to only work on the regular Xbox Scarlet and not the streaming one. So that's really good too. They figured out a way to, I think they call it slicing or splicing. So part of the game is rendered and then part of it is in, um, from the cloud. And then the cloud stitches them together so it works seamlessly. We'll have to see it in, in, uh, in practice, like in reality how it works. Because right now it's just words right words and, and you know, words and people talk it so we have to see it in practice how it actually works but if it does work as advertised it could be very very interesting and they're shooting for 2020 most likely is what it seems like this next generation is going to start for both sony and microsoft so it's going to be interesting guys let me know what you guys think are you interested in the streaming box or the regular xbox or are you migrating to pc or do you want to stream your games on a cell phone? You probably probably don't want to do that last one, but let's talk about it in the comment section below. It's good to see Microsoft trying again, guys. I'm very excited about this. Have a great day. And this is Alex Prime. I hope you had a great time. Bye.